is up you guys I am back I took a little bit of a break school went back for me and life just got really busy so today I'm going to be doing a video that has been very popular here on YouTube lately I'm going to be comparing this elf poreless primer to the Tarte uh, poreless primer. This is a big dupe for the Tatcha primer. However, I'm a big fan of this Tarte one ever since I saw Tati use it on one of her videos and she highly recommended it. So I'm going to be comparing these two. I didn't really feel like it was necessary for me to buy another primer just to compare this dupe because I think that they perform very similarly as well. So today that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to jump in. I'm also going to be using the Tarte Double Duty Hydrating Foundation and the Tarte Shape Tape. I just got new shades. The foundation is in Fair Beige and I have my concealer in Porcelain Beige. I also might offset this with some of my Jeffree Star concealer. This is a little light and the Jeffree is a little bit darker. So stay tuned for that. I will also be setting my face with the Jeffree Star setting powder, which I love. Okay, so let's jump in. I'm going to be using, first of all, clips. <laughs> I'm going to clip my hair back and out of my face just so I can keep it kind of under control. Not get any makeup in the hair. Nobody wants that. Okay, so as you can see, I have not used any of this e.l.f. primer yet. It just looks like a standard primer. There's no ingredients list on the back of mine. I don't know if that's standard. But anyway, I'm going to just use my fingers to apply this. It kind of has a filmy feel on the top and then you kind of break through that. I'm going to just use the back of my nail to scoop a little up and we're going to place that where I want some pores filled. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. on my left side and then the Tarte on the right. We'll just be using that to compare. Also, I think that this primer comes in a hydrating formula which I'd be very interested to try just because my skin this winter, you guys, has been the worst ever. I mean, it has been so insanely dry. I don't even know what to do. If you guys have a really thick moisturizer you'd like to recommend, I've been trying different ones. I've even used like a sleep mask and it just, nothing seems to be working. I'm still waking up and feeling very, very dry. I'm pretty happy with the placement of that. I have my mirror here to the left, as always. Also, bear with me, guys. I am getting a little bit of a head cold, so if I'm coughing or clearing my throat a lot, that's why. I'm just... We're going through it. Okay, January was a long year because it was a year. I, I it, it was insane. I'm now going to go in with the Timeless Smoothing Primer by Tarte on the right side of my face. I have used this product quite a bit. It is officially like my favorite pore filling primer that I own. I've tried a few different ones and so far this one has just been my favorite. It does have that kind of silicone-y feel but it has not caused me to break out which is what I really like about it. I know that a lot of people really like Benefits, the professional primers, but those honestly cause my pores get very clogged and then I get little breakouts all over my face if I use that at least if I use it for multiple days in a row so maybe if I just use it like once a week could be fine but this one I have not had any issues with and if you have had issues with either of these primers let me know I'm just kind of curious to see how it affects different skin types and different people that is these. I have my base down and then I'll also be filling you all in throughout the day or maybe just one check-in at the end of the day to kind of compare our sides. Stay tuned to see if I can remember for like eight hours which side has which primer on it. I might have to go back in my footage. The one thing I do not like about this foundation, I just got it, is this doe foot applicator on it. I get it, it's like the shape tape, but to me this is just like not the most sanitary way of Doing your foundation, I feel like they could have done a pump and it would have been much better. I just think that, you know, that's something to be conscious of. Um, I'm, I'm not a big, big fan of this, like, doe foot thing. Just feels like I'm getting taking the bacteria from my face and then putting it right back in the bottle. So that's just my opinion. I also picked a hydrating formula because, like I said, my skin has been the Sahara Desert. I mean, it's been so bad. But honestly, I wore it the other day and my skin didn't feel any more hydrated or anything. Like, it honestly felt just as dry, maybe even a little bit drier. But this does have a lot more coverage than my Benefit uh, foundation that I love, the Soft Blur. I 
live for this. I have the shade 1. It's great. I'm not a full coverage girl when it comes to my foundation. It's just too heavy on my face. We end up looking like a cake by the end of the day because it oxidizes and it sits really weird on my skin. I'm just not a fan. I am using the Tati Blendiful. Guys. She said dry it with your hair dryer. I did. I melted it. We don't need to talk about it. I have a new one coming on the way already. Um, honestly, if you haven't ever interacted with Tati Beauty's customer service, they are fantastic. I mean, I have had nothing but a good experience with Tati Beauty. They are actually sending me a new one for free because I saw her video and kind of just assumed like, oh, well, I can dry it with my hair dryer. And I didn't really think they'd send me a new one, but they are, um, which I think is amazing. Like most customer service would be like, you messed it up, girl. That's your fault. Deal with it. So I'm very excited about that. They were very, very kind. And I didn't, like, have to argue or anything. I was just kind of curious to see if they would replace it. I was like, hey, you know, I followed her video instructions. And I didn't think about the heat setting. And I melted my blender. Is there any way I can get a replacement? And they were like, well, typically we don't, you know, replace something. A product that's already been sent out, you know, and delivered and used. But in this case, you know... Fine, so I'm getting a new blendiful, which is amazing. I'm very excited about it because honestly, I love mine I use it pretty much every day to do my foundation and My I use the mini this one for my setting powder I mean you can tell it's a little bit dirty right now, but this is my kind of this has definitely replaced my foundation brushes at least for the time being I also am interested in maybe finally cracking down and getting a beauty blender and then just comparing the blendifuls to the beauty blender so let me know if you guys would like to see that just a side-by-side -side comparison of how they perform kind of like what I'm doing here with the primer I don't see any differences in terms of how the primer is like setting on my skin or anything like that the foundation I mean with the primer I'm going to go in with this concealer again Ordering concealer online is kind of a pain in the butt because you never know what you're going to get. I'm just dotting this on because I am, I think, going to mix some of my Jeffree Star concealer in with it. My Jeffree is only a little dark for me, but I honestly love it. It's the perfect formula. I have never had any issues with creasing, and my under eyes just naturally crease quite a bit. I really enjoy the formula that he has on his products for concealer. It's not like anything revolutionary by any means. But, I mean, I think it's pretty good, so. And I love the setting powder. I think it's great. It performs really well for me. My skin's been so dry. <laughs> and the setting powder does not necessarily help with that, but it's fine. Okay, and I'm going to kind of find a clean spot and blend this out with the Blendiful. I tap and swipe at the same time. It's kind of hard to tell. Just trying to buff it into the skin as best I can. Some people are still struggling with their blendifuls. I've seen several videos where people are still kind of like, I don't know how to use this exactly the perfect best way. I'm just trying to use it the way that I saw her use it. And I haven't really had any issues with that. That's just me. Again, I wonder if this primer will respond differently to it because my skin is so dry. The Tarte, I don't usually have any issues with. Um, with my dryness, like it doesn't cause any cracking or anything. It, it sits my product down pretty well. And I don't have any issues throughout the day. So we'll see how the e.l.f. does. I'm really curious to kind of compare these. A lot of people have been comparing it to the Tatcha one, but I was more interested to see kind of something that I already have in my collection that is a daily use product for me to compare the two of those. I gotta get kind of a nice little corner and buff that in. I'm going to quickly do the rest of my complexion and I will be right back and we will show you guys a little bit of a close-up on how this is all setting. Alright you guys, this is it. I really like this foundation actually. I've been kind of trying it out for this past week and I think it works really well. As for the primer, I don't see any major differences in my pores or anything. I mean, I've looked pretty closely and honestly, it looks pretty even for both sides. Again, my skin is pretty dry, so I mean, obviously I'm going to have some dryness underneath that foundation. We don't need to talk about it, okay? But I will be filling you in later on how this primer works for each side. Again, we have the e.l.f. on the left and then the tart on the right. So I will see you guys in a little while. All right, you guys, I am back. I put on all of this on my face at around 11 o'clock. It is now 6.30. 
and I'm just going to fill you in quickly on how my primer worked and how my makeup has done throughout the day. So today I did go on a pretty long walk. I walked for about four miles and I filmed a few videos. I've been under these bright lights so I have gotten a little bit oily, a little bit sweaty. So we will see how that has affected my makeup. I'm going to go ahead and bring you in closer. Okay, so this is my complexion as of right now. You can see like near my nose on this is the elf side you can definitely see my pores a little bit and where the foundation is kind of patchy near my nose this area kind of looks like it's maybe coming off just a little bit on my chin but I don't know that I got my chin that well my forehead looks pretty good and then this is the tart side the tart side it has collected in my nose but it hasn't exactly like rubbed off uh underneath my eyes looks great but honestly i give that total credit to shape tape and then my jeffree star setting powder nothing under my eyes budges after i set it with that powder so yeah i mean there's no cracking or anything crazy it just looks like it's separated in some places but again it has been a pretty long day for me and i did kind of put this primer to the actual test and you know didn't i didn't change my daily activities at all for it but I mean I'm not I'm not mad I don't really see a ton of difference other than like I said like here in my nose and it could just honestly be that I didn't apply my primer in my nose as well as I should have but honestly what it comes down to is I think that the e.l.f. primer performs just as well as the Tarte, which really surprises me because the e.l.f. primer is only $8 and the Tarte is like I think $42, which is a huge difference. And honestly, you're getting pretty much the same amount of product, but I just always kind of assumed like Tarte it's going to be better quality and it does have a different consistency. I do think it performs just a little bit differently and better. It definitely keeps it a little bit more in place throughout the day and it isn't drying. One thing about the e.l.f. is it did kind of, I don't know, it feels a little bit drier on this side to me and there is a little bit more noticeable pore exposure. So take that for what you will. Honestly, I think that they are both great primers and the fact that there is a very affordable brand making a primer that performs as well as this one did for only $8, I think that's an insane deal. And you know, you all make your own judgment on it because you've, you know, whatever. I just, I just tried it. But honestly, what it comes down to is I think that these are both great products and it's really about what you're looking for personally. And if you don't have the 40 something dollars to spend on a primer, then girl, I wouldn't. I would just go ahead and get the e.l.f. Honestly, I got the tart as a Christmas gift to myself from myself so it's something I had been wanting for a long time you know I'm a big Tati Westbrook fan she recommended it and I was like I have to have it so <laughs> I got that for myself uh, a few months ago but the elf it's just as good it does a good job I honestly will probably interchange them regularly now that I have it just to see and you know, see how it wears on the whole face on its own without any kind of competitor. Then maybe I'll fill you guys in later for a future video if you want. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy makeup content, unboxings, and videos of that nature, then go ahead and subscribe down below. I post as often as I can. I am a college student and I do have two jobs right now, so my life is a little crazy, but I love doing this. It's honestly a big passion for me and I'm trying to grow my channel a lot this year so it would really mean a lot if you did subscribe and give your support all right guys have a good rest of your day bye